you have an image and you want to display it on your map. Format is important here and I would recommend PNG. This is all done without downloading any external software, even though GIMP is free. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Anyway. Firstly, your images need to be sized to a power of 2, otherwise they will not work. You can resize or crop however you want, but uh, for this tutorial I'll be using imageresizer.com. Link is in the description. Open your image there, change the aspect ratio to a square, change the size of the image to one that you think is fair, and save it somewhere. If the image is a PNG and has transparent parts, follow the PNG part of this video. If it has no transparent parts, just continue. Put your image in your map's materials folder. Now open the material editor and create a new shader. Select Cisco Complex, accept, then save it since the editor won't let you start until you do so. On the colors tab, click on the file icon, show all images, and you should see it appear on the right. At this point you can save the shader slash texture and you should be able to use it in Hammer. First, open your image on imageresizer.com, uncheck lock the aspect ratio, double check that your image is sized to a power of 2, add a black background fill, resize and save it. Next, time to create a masking image. Take that original square image and open it on photop.com. Go to layer, raster mask and click from transparency. Next, go to channels. Hide RGB, unhide the background mask, and without clicking anything, select everything using Ctrl A, copy with Ctrl C, then go to layers, click on the colored image, and then paste with Ctrl V. If you do things correctly, you should have something like this. Go ahead and save it. The black part is what will tell the game what to make transparent. Next, put those two images in your map's materials folder. Now open the material editor and create a new shader. Select CSGO complex, accept, then save it since the editor won't let you start until you do so. Next, check translucent on the side. On the color tab, click the file icon, look for all images, and open the colored one. Next, on translucency, open the black and white image and you should see the black parts of the colored image become transparent on the preview. Save the texture slash shader and you should be able to use it in Hammer at this point. Open the material editor and check self elum. Go to the self elum section and click on change to slider. Crank that shit to 1, then play with the self elum scale and self elum brightness if your texture appears too dark. Note that not all shaders have the self elum feature. Anyway, if you place the texture and enable GPU path tracing, Changing its properties in the material editor will change it in real time on Hammer. Alternatively, you can compile your map and see it change in game. You make a block with your texture, but it's all messed up. To fix it, go on face mode by pressing 3, then select a face and click fit. If you want to make only your image appear in your map like this, go on face mode by pressing 3. Double click to select all the faces, hold Ctrl and click on a face to deselect it, then delete everything else. If you want to make that remaining face non-solid, go on object mode by pressing 5, select the face, press Ctrl plus Enter to bring up its properties, then put none as physics type. 